once we'd done our analysis, uh, Darren, we knew that we needed to assemble the two other parcels to get the front door. And there's a little story that goes along with that assemblage. <clears throat> um, some years, this is all in the summer of 2012, some years before I had met a man, I was trying to buy a piece of his land, and he, uh, he, he had a much different opinion of value than I had. And so we were sitting around his kitchen table the last time we, we visited about that piece of property, and, and it was obviously we were not going to make a deal. And so I, I turned to him and I said, why don't we just be friends? And we're not going to do any business today, so why don't we just be friends? And so we visited a little bit longer as, as friends, and I left. Well, uh, several years later, I got a phone call from him, and he said, you need to come see me. And, and so I went to see him, and, I, and in the conversation, he said, I want to sell a portion of the property where I'm living. And, and I said, well, okay, but um, maybe you need an engineer more than you need me to help you with that because <clears throat> you have to divide it off. And he said, no, I, I've got somebody who wants it. And I said, well, sell it to him. He said, I don't like him. And so I said, well, you don't have to like him. All you have to do is take his money and put it in the bank. I mean, <laughs> if you agree on price. But he said, no, I want you to buy it. And I said, well, I'm not in the market for a half acre of land on this road. And he said, no, I want you to buy my land and the land in back. And that was how I got into contact with the, about the fact that there was a piece of land in back that was owned by a bank. It was OREO. And so I contacted the, the bank. And, and they were at that point where they, it was the last asset they had in Metro Richmond. They just really wanted to close the file on Richmond. And, and so uh, their motivation was cash and quick. Mm -hmm. And they, they were not really concerned about price. My, the, the retired, a good problem to have. <laughs> yeah, it was, was running. And so, so the, the gentleman that, um, that had called me, uh, my friend, <clears throat> he was, his motivation was cash, but price was important mm -hmm. to him. <clears throat> the third piece was owned by a widow who happened to be uh, a retired realtor. And I will tell you that that was one of the most difficult negotiations I have ever had <laughs> in my career. Um, <clears throat> Not only because she was going through the uncertainty of making an enormous transition from her private residence into some sort of care facility, but also because she, she was a very sharp realtor. I would have loved to have had her representing me at some point. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, but we, we had a good rapport, and, and over a period of a couple of months, she, she finally got to the point she was having some health issues. She realized she needed to make the transition. It became very apparent to her. And, and so ultimately she agreed. And, and, and so um, we were able to put the three parcels together uh, and, and begin the entitlement process, mm -hmm. which, which I really help, appreciate your help, Darren. Um, Thank you. It was a pleasure. One, one, of the com one of the things we found is Darren and I worked together is that we would go into county meetings and, and we were finishing each other's sentences. So Yeah, that um, is a positive, that, uh, to have that kind of synergy in those types of meetings is a good thing.